Ciao besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Viviana and in this video I'm going to show you how I manipulate typography to make logos on Adobe Illustrator. When you're working on a client logo, you have to make sure that the logo is unique, that it represents their business and that it stands out. Nowadays, there are a lot of easy ways to make a logo. You can just pick out a cool font and call it a day. But if you do it, that doesn't mean that somebody else can do it too. And you really don't want that when you're working on a client logo. With your expertise and experience, you should be able to make a logo that fully represents them and that is specific to them. Now, how can we do that? Editing typography isn't always the answer, of course, but it sure is a good way to make your logo one of a kind. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I personally manipulate typography on Adobe Illustrator and show you some tips and tricks that have helped me in this process. But before doing that, make sure to click the subscribe button below if you're not subscribed already and you would like to see more videos like this okay great let's go so here we are on adobe illustrator first of all i'm using illustrator because it's a vector-based software this means that this software doesn't work with pixels like photoshop for example but it works with vectors vectors can be manipulated and altered in any way possible without the quality of the vector actually being affected i'm talking size color anything so i really suggest using a software like this if you don't have a subscription to the Adobe Creative Cloud and you're interested you can check out the first link in my description and find out which plan works best for you. So here we have the words that we're gonna manipulate today. Trust the process, very fitting for this video. So as you can see we're starting with a really simple and bold font as base. This is the direction that I'm taking with my design style recently. I used to use like really funky fonts and barely do anything with them but now I prefer using like really simple fonts as base so I can really get my hands on it you know. But this is not the only font that we're gonna use today. Drawing type from scratch, it's really hard, you know. So what I like to do usually is either take another letter from the same font and then make my own custom letter, like for example, I did in my latest video, or I take a letter from another font, maybe a more like particular font, then I replicate the shape, that movement in the font that I'm using. And this is what we're gonna do today. This is the second font that we're gonna use today. You probably know it, but if you wanna follow along and and manipulate some type with me, you can recreate this exact effect using these two fonts. So the first font is called the Trade Gothic and the second font is called Pillow Lava. The second one is free, but the first one is included in the Adobe subscription on Adobe fonts. Now we're not gonna edit everything, just a couple of letters because we don't want the logo to feel too overwhelming. You still have to be able to properly read it even from a distance. In this case, we don't have a logo, but it works just the same. So the letters that I've chosen to manipulate are the R, T, P and S. As you can see, I highlighted them so you can see better where they're going to be placed. And I'm actually going to arrange the words a little bit differently so it looks a little bit cooler. Okay, I like it a little bit better now. So let's start with the letter R. Now I'm going to show you how I use the tools while I manipulate type. So first of all, I get rid of the parts of the letter that I don't need. So I just use the rubber tool to get rid of all of this so we can see a little bit better what is going on. <laughs> the first tool that we're actually going to use to manipulate type is the shape builder tool but what i want to do before actually starting with the shape builder tool is to rotate a little bit this this part because i don't want this like to stick out too much it's gonna be weird otherwise this of course looks rough but we have our trusty beautiful tools that were gonna help us along the way so the first tool that i'm grabbing is the pencil tool now the pencil tool is like essential for manipulation typography it's perfect and it's beautiful and i love it and it will save your life and i know it can be a little bit intimidating but don't you worry because there are a lot of other tools that are gonna fix whatever you're gonna do with the pencil tool so don't you worry now the first thing that i want to do is obviously fix like this curve here you see this is bad you know but it's fixable what i want to do actually is create some sort of curve you see now it looks a little bit better okay I like this, but I want to kind of match these two curves that I made because as you can see, the one on the left is a little bit bigger. And now we grab our third tool, which is the smooth tool. The smooth tool is, is amazing because she fixes everything, you guys. Like if you make a line that is super wonky, the smooth tool is going to fix that. And it's going to be perfect. It's beautiful. Okay, I like where this is going. But for example, I'm seeing here that there is like this anchor point here that kind of makes the straight line a little bit wonky so what you do actually when something like this happens is just 
remove the anchor point. As you can see, the R now has a little bit of character, but it's still very easy to read. It could work like perfectly in a logo, you know? Okay, so now let's move on to the T. We're gonna do pretty much the same. These are the tools that I use usually. For the T, I just wanna bring like this part here. I'm gonna try to not make it stick out so much because I don't want it to be too weird. So you can already kind of see what I want to do with this and now we're gonna use the shape builder tool again now follow me here I know it looks insane I just wanna like smooth this curve here grabbing the pencil tool it is wonky it is wonky I know that but again the smooth tool and there you have it an amazing smooth line now let's move on to the letter P and this is gonna be so fun I actually want to use this part here so let's get rid of all of this this is gonna be a little crazy but follow me here okay let's first try this with the shape builder tool but i have a feeling that it's not gonna work with the shape builder tool so of course this looks crazy but in this case this is gonna help us have some sort of guidelines for what we're gonna do with the pencil tool i'm just gonna show you okay let's go looks bad let's try it again Ooh, okay, maybe we've got something. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, it looks great. Okay, my original plan was to kind of replicate the curves that we made on the R. And uh, I mean, yeah, it looks good. Still a little bit wonky, so again, smooth tool. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for the S and I will see you when I'm done. And there you have it, trust the process. Of course, this takes a lot of time and practice. I never thought that I could be a designer that does stuff like this, but it's actually really fun and I'm very excited to keep exploring this design style. It shouldn't be intimidating to manipulate typography. So I hope this video has inspired you to start playing with type if you've never done it before and just have fun. Also, I wanna throw you a challenge. Use the same phrase and the same two fonts, but come up with your own type manipulation. You can choose any letters you want and add them as you wish. If you do that, make sure to tag me on Instagram because I do want to see it. There's so many ways that someone can go about this, so I am very excited to see what you guys make. So, if you want to see in action what I just showed you today, you can check out my Design With Me playlist where I create brands from scratch and I manipulate typography in all of them. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave me a like and subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments if if you'd like to edit typography and what tool do you use. If you have made it to this part of the video, drop a scream emoji in the comments because the thought of editing typography is just so terrifying, <laughs> but it isn't. You can follow me on all my social media, you can find all the links in the description box below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week in another video. Ciao!